is Tuesday and I get theater twice in one week. Yeah, what a lucky me. I am here at the Dr. Phillips Center for the play that goes wrong, uh, which I know nothing about, Mary knows a little bit about, but we're both pretty sure that it's about a play that goes wrong. It's a gut feeling that we have. It's definitely going to be a farce of some sort and I'm down for some comedy. Mary and I have stressful lives. We'd love something to laugh at. <laughs> All right, so there are like texts wandering around on the stage. We clearly should have come in here much earlier. There's clearly excitement happening. I already love the way that everything is set up. Yeah, I didn't know. And uh, I love the program being cut incorrectly. I'm real into that too. This is great. All right, so I talked about the front of the program, but I just didn't realize that, like, it's a play about a play. So this is The Murder at Haversham Manor at Cornley University Drama Society. So it has, like, the cast. And uh, my biggest, like, I'm a huge fan of director, designer, costume designer, prop maker, box office manager, press and PR, dramaturgy, voice coach, dialect coach, fight choreographer, and rehearsal role, Miss Fitzroy. Christine. There's a note from the president who was also Christine. And then all of the fake bios <laughs> for these fake kids. There is a guy like in the balcony. No one ever comes to visit us up here. I feel very happy. Chris being himself, man, showing up up here. Look at that. Wow. Mary, did you know you'd be so lucky? You came almost all the way to us. I'm definitely already really into this. This is hysterical. <laughs> this is great. It's just like a whole bunch of them trying to fix and failing to fix things. It's intermission. This show is great. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely hysterical. So it is, at its heart, uh, a bunch of actors trying valiantly to carry on as everything in the show goes horribly wrong. And I love it for like the awkwardness, and then also for the fact that like that awkwardness is fake, because <laughs> everything in the show is probably going right. Mary, are you having a good time? You're laughing a lot, so I assume you're having a good Gotta time. Gotta love a good part. Yes. The highlight moments. Uh, the fact that there is an elevator. Yeah. And then the broken elevator. Yeah. Uh, the guy falling off the ledge. It's <laughs> really great. Yeah. And uh, I think that Mary's, I'm gonna go out on a, on a limb here and say that Mary's favorite part was getting the unconscious girl through the window. <laughs> Very impressive, like, dead body work from that girl. Yeah. I'm, like, wow. I'm very impressed. Because that has to be terrifying, and she just ragdolled it the whole way. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for the second half. It's, it can only possibly get better. <laughs> so this here, with the Duran Duran posters, is the tech booth where, like, one of the actors sits for large portions of the show when he's like in the tech booth. Ugh. What a wild show. I don't think I stopped laughing for the entire second act. This show is hysterical. Highly recommend. If you have the opportunity to see it here or anywhere else, go. It's really a really, really fun farce. It's a great romp. Uh, the set is impressive. Question for Mary. Did the set change between X1 and X2? Is that how it's able to fall down? I don't know. Because they banged on the door really hard in the very beginning and the wall didn't shake, but when they banged on the door it, this time, the shake. wall shook a lot. Magnets. Is that how this is done? Magnets? Usually. <sighs> it's wild. Like things, I guess that makes sense because the things like stick and then fall and then. Yeah, okay, magnets make sense. Mary's logical. <laughs> Wait, what about the platform? So there's this entire platform that, that people stand on that, like, you know, they knock. 
the leg out and it falls a little bit and then it falls a little bit more and then it falls all the way down and it made me so nervous <laughs> even though I know that it's supposed to happen like clearly also like I think it takes some guts to be an actor in this show <laughs> like there's a lot of stage combat experience required yeah for this sort of thing and there's a lot of like stunt work <laughs> a lot of stunt work yes so it is a small cast piece there's only eight actors um plus two people who are crew who are also like on set sometimes yeah uh it's really freaking funny the entire point is that they are performing a play and everything that can go wrong does go wrong like absolutely everything. Everything you've ever been nervous about in your entire theatrical career happens to these people in this play. And we get to laugh at it. And you know, you know it's a good show when somebody ends up curled in the fetal position at the end. Laughing. Yeah. Crying. Definitely crying, Mary. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the record, it was neither of us. No. I just need that to, to be clear. We were laughing though, really, really hard. So yeah, it's a it's a good show. I I mean, so so far this season, I've seen Les Mis, I've seen Escape to Margaritaville, and I've seen this, and uh, this is the winner. Sorry, Les Mis, I'm glad we came, yeah. and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>